hey guys welcome back to my channel it has been a hot minute since the last time i posted a video since the last time i recorded i'm so sorry i promise i have lots of videos coming out soon in today's video we are going to make our own crafting mat using dollar tree products we are going to be using these plastic cutting mats from dollar tree this is how the packaging looks um and then we're going to be using this shelf liner from dollar tree they have this pattern in a few different colors they have it like in a dark gray and a blue color and they have other patterns that you can find so if you want to see how easy that it this is just keep watching. okay so these cutting mats are 11 by 14 and they come with two so you can make two craft mats if you wanted to one side one side is this shiny um, smooth side and this other side is kind of textured so what I was thinking is I was thinking of making a big mat I don't know if I should just make one mat that's like tiny or if I should just make a big mat like this like combine them and make a big mat which I think I might combine it because it would be nice kind of you know have a big space to work with so the top shiny part of this mat is going to be the top part it's, and the reason for that is because it is um i think it'll be easier to clean because it's more smooth um so if you get glue or paint on it it'll be easier to take off than this more textured side so we're gonna take our shelf liner And we are going to start just measuring out the mats and how much you're going to want. I'm just going to take a pencil and I'm going to kind of draw where I want it to end. Which will be right here. I'm going to take that and then I'm going to measure out... where I want it kind of measure out I don't know if you can see that where the mats end I think that should be fine so now I'm just gonna cut it out and I'll be right back I'm going to take some clear scotch tape and I'm going to tape my mats together. I'm just putting three pieces of tape, top, middle, and down. When you put it on the liner, you're not gonna be able to see where the tape marks are at. So keep that in mind. So then we're going to line it up going to take more tape and we're just going to tape it all over where it goes. So I might actually flip it over and kind of see where I want it. And so we're just going to start taping. You could do hot glue, but I think hot glue would kind of show more. Um around the edges, so I'm just gonna do tape. Okay, so change of plans. I have some double-sided tape from Dollar Tree. So I am going to take this, and I am going to put it all around. Dollar 
tree does also sell some double-sided scotch tape. I just don't have any of that, so I'm just using this craft double-sided tape in here. You don't have to put as much tape as I'm putting, but I just want to make sure that it's going to be like pure. Now we're just going to peel back all these backings. And you can also use, instead of using like the shelf liner, you can also use like a poster board or um, wrapping paper or something decorative, you know, like scrapbook paper, um, things like that. Okay, so now we're going to flip it and we're going to hold it and we're going to try to align it without... So now you're just going to cut all the excess off of these and it will definitely be easier if you're just doing one like the size of one because you won't have to try to make sure that it's all like one size so I'm going to cut the excess and I'll be right back. Okay so I just used my true control knife and the healing mat underneath and I just cut all the excess so be warned that this double sided tape is not as clear as the scotch tape like the scotch tape you can't see at all but you can definitely see this specific double sided tape so I would say I would say to use um the scotch double sided tape because that one's way more clear and you won't be able to see that one but it doesn't really bug me that much it kind of does but I can always take it off um and fix it so it's not a huge deal to me. Um, also, the good thing about using tape is that you can take it out and change it for a different pattern and you can always just change it. Let me go to the bureau and show you how it looks. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it was a easy tutorial for you guys please let me know down below if you try it and let me know how yours turned out and what pattern you decided to put inside of it and yeah like I said the only thing is that this Dollar Tree um, double-sided tape is not um, clear I don't know if the cameras could pick up on it because of the light but you can kind of see it right there it's not transparent like the scotch tape you can't see the scotch tape at all so just keep that in mind. I always say just use scotch double sided tape. Which I'll probably pick up next time I'm at Dollar Tree. But yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload. I love you guys. Oh don't forget to subscribe. Duh Leslie. Duh. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>